8 a.m. to 10 a.m., 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. on Sunday morning, Sunday morning, Sunday morning, Sunday morning. Hurricane Irene, New York City, New York City, Hurricane Irene, New York City, New York City, 8 a.m. to 10 a.m., storm surge, storm surge, tides, tides, peak, peak. 8 a.m. to 10 a.m., storm, storm surge, storm surge, tides, peak, 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 2 p.m., la, da, 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 da. 8 a.m. to 10 a.m., storm surge, peak, 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 12 inches, 12 inches, 12 inches rain, 12 inches, 12 inches, 12 inches rain, during Sunday, during Sunday, 12 inches rain, foot, foot, foot of rain, foot of rain on New York City, New York City for Sunday, Sunday, Hurricane Irene, foot of rain, a foot of rain, a foot of rain, wind, wind, 75 mile winds, wind, Wind, 75 mile wind, 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 75 mile an hour wind, wind for New York City, New York City, New York City, power out, New York City, New York City, power out, power out, Sunday, Sunday, 8 a.m. to 10 a.m., peak, peak, wind, wind, rain, rain, storm surge, storm surge, peak, peak, 8 a.m. to 10 a.m., storm surge, peak, peak, Peaked in New York City, New York City, flooding, flooding, power out, power out, hell out. Hurricane Irene, stay indoors, stay indoors, don't drive, don't drive, stay indoors, stay indoors, don't drive, don't drive. Hurricane Irene, Hurricane Irene, peaks on Sunday, 8 to 10 a.m., 8 to 10 a.m. Hurricane Irene, Hurricane Irene, foot of rain, foot of rain, door ring Sunday. Foot of rain, foot of rain, door ring Sunday. Hurricane Irene, Hurricane Irene, flooding and power out of New York City. New York City, New York City. Hurricane Irene, 8 a.m. to 10 a.m., power out New York City. New York City. New York City subway trains not running tonight after 7. They will not move. Also, MTA buses not moving after 9 and Metro North. Uh, the schedule ceases after 7 p.m. Let's go to Jeff Smith for the very latest on the weather. Good afternoon, Jeff. Just reading some research from uh, Dr. Jeff Masters. He's out of the University of Michigan, and he thinks, based on his opinion, that the New York City subway has about a 50% chance of uh, the storm surge overtopping these levees and flooding the subway. So it's probably a good idea to be closing those subways down at 7 o'clock tonight. And this would be the first time that happened since December of 1992, and that was a major nor'easter. This one expected to be a little bit worse. The tides could be a little bit higher in this. Rain and wind increase starting tonight. The brunt of the storm is going to be Monday into Monday night. When I say the brunt, I'm talking the hurricane force wind gusts. I'm talking the major coastal flooding, and it's especially with that high tide cycle Monday evening. When the storm makes landfall, the storm doesn't have very good timing, and heavy rain as well. Heavy rain, not going to be the big deal like it was back in Irene, but boy, damaging wind and major coastal flooding are going to more than make up for that. We do have that coastal flood warning in effect starting tonight, starting with tonight's high tides. We're going to be getting minor to moderate flooding, and already the surge values are a little bit higher than average. Tides are running a couple feet above normal, even into south coastal parts of Connecticut, so western Long Island already experiencing a storm surge well in advance of the storm. You can only imagine how it's going to get when the actual core of the storm bends into the coast. High wind warning in effect, of course, tomorrow, right through Tuesday at 6 p.m. So even though the flood is tomorrow into tomorrow night, we still will have winds capable of bringing down tree limbs on Tuesday. Now, during the brunt, the wind could actually uproot trees and cause structural damage and a lot of power outages. Also, this flood watch in effect, mainly for south and west of the city, I think the flooding threat is the greatest uh, southern western parts of New Jersey where you could see upwards of eight or more inches of rain. Radar satellite already showing some of the rain bands moving in from the south and southeast. And you can even see on here, we're getting this onshore flow. It's piling water in already, and that's why the storm surge is going to get so bad. And Amy Freeze is going to talk about that in just a second. The main part of the storm, the core of the storm, is just southeast, or actually well southeast of Cape Hatteras, North Carolina. But Cape Hatteras is getting tropical storm force winds right now, 